Grand Rising, everyone, and good day. It's Shay Seeking, and I'm back. I wanted to um, read something a little different to you guys today. Um, this is a book that some of you may have. Um, I think that I saw it like on Amazon for 125 bucks, or they're going to be re. Um, there's like a 50th anniversary or something like this, um, where they're going to be redoing the book again and selling it again. I can't stand that fact because I just feel like the when they do these newer editions that some of the things that may uh, jog your memory or wake you up may be missing. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Um, so again, I picked this up at the state sale for like a buck. I'm super uh, stoked about that. And actually, I was going to take some of these images and put them in some scrapbooking stuff myself. Um, but I came to start reading it and being very interested in the book. So I said, I won't do that. Okay. And then I, I think when I first found the book, I could find it online for, um, a little bit cheaper. I thought it was like 25 bucks or something. But now again, like I said, there's only a couple of sellers that were having it up for like a hundred. Somebody had it up for hundreds of dollars. Um, and then, you know, um, I guess for $31, you can go ahead and put a pre-order in it on Amazon for the newer one that's going to be coming out. So I just want to do something different because uh, really I'm struggling with getting back into the, the swing of things and where I'm being led with my mental. <laughs> so it's just been hard again. I've been, I'm just like trying to get back in tune with things. So I, I thought let's just do something a little bit different and, you know, let's just kind of read through this book a little bit, you know, and as I come through things, I'll just come and, you know, uh, share them with you. Um, maybe this will help me stay within a certain time frame as well, or give you guys some, something that want to be here, but my other videos are too long. <laughs> so, okay. Um, here's the introduction and it says, suppose a 300 year old black man um, had decided, oh, say, when he was about mm, 10, to keep a scrapbook, a record of what it was like for himself and his people in these United States. So right there, when I'm reading that, um, that's already causing something like... Um, to point out the fact that there's more to look into when you're talking about the United States. So instead of saying the United States, he said these United States. Um, and again, I just separated that from just thinking we're talking about the whole United States, you know, automatically, um, that there's something more that the, the, the writer is trying to say that there's something more about this United States thing. Okay. It said he would keep newspaper articles that interest him old family photos, trading cards, advertisements, letters, handbills, dream books. That's a good idea. Oh, dream books <laughs> for my journals that I'm making. See, you know what? This is why I deal with y'all. Dream books. Goodness, can I find something to write with? All these pens here and nothing sharp. Okay, or pencils and nothing sharp. I like to write with a good sharp pencil, just so y'all know. Um, dream book. Okay. So anyways, okay, I'm sorry. Sidetracked already. So, um, oh, goodness. I love these sequin house shoes, but they're kind of scratching up on everything. So, okay. He would keep newspaper articles that interested him, old family photos, trading cards, advertisements, letters, handbills, dream books, and posters, all sorts of stuff. He would remember things too, and he would put those in stories he'd learned. Um, he'd heard rumors, dates. Um, he'd remember the first march on Washington, how Quincy, uh, John Quincy Adams defended Joseph. Um, okay, no, I was thinking something. Um, so, um, defendant Joseph, um, Sin, Sin K, Sin Ku, I'm not sure, the black, uh, slave ship rebel, M1, 
the Jewish hospital that opened its doors to the wounded during the Civil War draft riots. He would know about black gold miners and pirates and factory owners and investors or inventors. He would keep records of blacks who owned slaves, lyrics of songs he'd sung, voodoo recipes he'd tried, and all that he would put in this book. And he would end up a folk journey of black America. A book just like this one. Beautiful, haunting, curious, informative, and human. Not such men keep such books, but it's okay because it's here. Anyway, I sure wish I had it when I was in school. Then I'd know what to say when Miss Board Bird said my speech was slang. Um, I sure wish I had it in my house back in Philadelphia. Then whenever I played the dozens, I'd know where they came from. More important, I wish I'd had it when I went to the barbershop. Then it would have been necessary for that dude to leave his chair with half of his haircut to run home and get his birth certificate to provide, wait, to prove he was around when Josh Gibson was playing baseball. But here it is, at last, a black book. Everyone has one, you know. The difference is, one is that, um, the difference in this one is that here, nobody changed the names to protect the guilty. Hmm. Browse in it. The pickings ain't always easy, but they're always good. September 1973, Bill Cosby. Okay. So... Let's see. Many people contributed to this text with stories, pictures, recollections, and general aid. There are um, Mary Singleton, Donna Woods, Rama, I'm just saying the first names, George, uh, Verda, Verda May, June, Eleanor Charles, Ishmael, um, especially mentioned must go to Judith. Uh, Rag Chase, who made available photographs of the items in her old slave mark museum, and to Sharon somebody for the photo research. All above our thanks to those millions of black people who lived this life and held on. Okay, because it's a shame that lots of our stuff um, did not get held on to from I'm I'm thinking from the constant movement of the people um being moved uh to and fro um that this is why some other people have been able to preserve documents um on their family's land that was taken from the aboriginal americans in some kind of way um and preserved in these houses or these estates that have been passed down for generations uh from generations to generations and a lot of these people hold on to these things or they uh, sell them off at some point in time. But to, I think, the American Negro, if you were to stumble across a box of goodies that went down your lineage, the last thing you would do would be to part from those things. So if you are someone that has these things, please feel free to share them um, in the group on Facebook. I'll go ahead and put the link in the bottom of the video. I'm trying to put together, it, it's funny because I've had this book on my shelf for about a year and I've been trying to put together something, um, I know I've mentioned before that I collect books and I am a, what you might call scrapbooker in a sense where um, I love things of antiquity and um, I'm uh, making uh, journals and things like this um, in order to document things. Um, I'm going to start my own now. <laughs> Um, and you know, I'll, I'll probably have some of these things to offer in the future. Cause I think, um, 
you know, especially getting young people involved with this and letting them have their book so that they'll have something, you know, a keepsake all in one spot where they can start documenting their history. I know we're all trying to scramble and find things about our past. And I think this will be a good idea to go ahead and put them together because for years I've been doing these half doing these journals and things, starting them and not finished because it didn't have a purpose. You know, um, a lot of people in that community, um, they, they're just doing it for looks or whatever and not to knock the community um, of crafters or whatever. Um, but I, I've always wanted to have some point of a purpose or meaning if I'm going to spend my time doing something in the um, uh, artesian or artistic uh, world, okay? Um, so anyhow, that, that's just a short, brief thing. Um, so if I do make one, I'll show you guys what I'm kind of talking about. Um, so here's the first page. It says, I was there when the angels drove out the ancestors. I was there when the waters consumed the mountains. Now, this says two things to me right away. I was there when the angels drove out the ancestors. When I look at angels, um, in a sense, and I think we're just going to do a, a quick run down over here into etymology. Because um, this is a term that was tricky for me. And, I, and I've come to somewhat of a conclusion that um, I don't really see that many references of angels with wings in the Bible. So I was wondering why we've been fed that image of angels for so long. Um so I think it's only right to kind of go into this real quick and kind of see what we may be missing when it comes to angels. Okay. So um, let's see. Um, angel fish. Mm. Angel. One of class. Um, and then, okay, one may look at this as like class in another manner, but I think like a classist or like a certain uh, class, like uh, how I was telling you guys about the, um, and I'm not going to pull it up. I'm trying hard not to do things like this um, that are so repetitive, but with the caste system, those of you who have already been here, um, you know what I'm talking about. So when we're talking about the caste system, um, I, I feel like this is a form of that class because I think that when we're referring to angels at some points in the text, meaning the Bible, um, that we are talking about some form of a, a, a messenger or a soldier, or I think is more along the lines of these things. Because even you think about the wings with the postal service, even you think about the wings that some of these um, uh, forces have um, attached to their um emblems or their symbols over the years so again i still think that this is kind of like what we're talking about okay um and that's why these are different types of angels there's probably some angels of um different types of uh deities because again and we'll just have to go deep if we went that way but again i think that that's what it is um and then it says spiritual beings um and spiritual you know, you would have to go look up spiritual and etymology to see, but it doesn't actually mean what I thought it meant, you know, um, all together once you really look at it. So attendants um, and messengers of God. Um, in the 1300s, a fusion of old English angel um, or angle, maybe, with a hard G, um, angle. Both are from late Latin angelus. Uh, angelos in Greek, literally a messenger, envoy. Again, if we're now going to talk about an envoy, I think that is a term that might be, um, let's start a little list just in case we need it. So, um, yeah, a messenger, envoy, one that announces, again, an announcement, you can see one of the guys or of uh I don't know how it works, how the what degrees or whatever they have, but um 
I can just imagine one of these guys riding in on a horse with a message and he slows down by the uh, general or something and speaks something like a message in his ear um, or hands him a paper or something. And then there's some orders of what to do next or something of this sort, you know, like this is just what I imagine. Okay. Um, in the New Testament, divine messengers, which is possibly re related to angaros or mounted carriers. Okay, so see again, again, this is kind of like what I'm talking about, a mounted uh, or mounted, mounty, um, I don't know, I'm thinking even uh, the ones in Canada with the funny hat and the red and white, you know, um, so I don't know. So anyways, a mounted cur courier. Um, hey, this is my first time really looking at it like this. And I guess this is kind of, you know, this goes with it a little bit of what I'm trying to say. So both from an unknown oriental word, uh, swift. Okay. Uh, Semitic sources used. Um, translations for Hebrew as Malachka. Um, a messenger, Jehovah. Um, an old English word for it was errand guest, <laughs> literally an errand spirit. Okay. So of person one. Okay. So it says of persons, one who is loving, gracious, and lovely. Again, they always talk about how these men look so beautiful, riding up on their horses that were dressed very nice with the feathers and their you know, um, very pristine. Okay. Um, the middle medieval English gold coin, a new issue of the noble, uh, first struck 1465 by Ed Edward VI. Um, mm, okay. Was so called for the image of the arch. Okay. Wait was so called for the image of Archangel Michael slaying the dragon. Um, again, you know, I know this is off the cuff right here, but there's something about this Archangel Michael and something that reference to this whole Trump thing right now. I don't know. It's just something that I've seen over time from, you know, hearing other people saying certain things and I cannot quite put it together, but I don't know. You know, it's just... This whole thing, now we're going through this impeachment, you know, we're supposed to be, um, you know, Trump was supposed to be, uh, and again, I, I, I really, I don't vote and everything like this, and I'm not going to get into politics like that, but I'm just, I pay attention though. I do watch, um, to a certain extent. I just hear, and I, and I, I, I'm just not paying attention, but you know, if it's something I'm trying to just watch the direction that they're going. Um, so yeah, this whole thing. And then with Mike Pence, there's a whole bunch of stuff that comes out. And then about Kushner, the, the son-in-law. So there's a lot of things that are going on here that, you know, reside with these family lineage, lineage, lineages. Um, and I don't know, I think we're going to be seeing some things that are going to work a course, um, you know, that's going to be, yeah. So anyhow, um, it was the coinage given to, uh, patents, um, or I'll say patience. Okay, maybe have been touched uh, for the king's evil. Okay, uh, angel food. Okay, so anyways, we we get the drift. Okay, an archangel, an angel of the highest order. Again, because now these archangels. Now when we see about this too, um, when it comes to these archangels of the highest order. This is what I'm saying. Um, like I was, um, looking into, uh, I, and this is where I'm saying where I'm everywhere right now. I'm looking at the unpopular information about Adams and I'm putting something together. That's kind of, okay. But we'll just say Andrew Jackson, uh, Lincoln and John Brown. For some reason, these names are really, you know, and I'm just really trying to focus right now but I can't because I'm just so many places so um when I wanted to say about that is I was um listening to um the one of uh the, the documentaries of 
goodness, what is his name? I just said. <laughs> in the world Andrew Jackson okay and how it said that he was first he first started off being this and then he started off being something else and then but he had never really been um like in the military like that um until he started his own basically with um free blacks I have a couple notes, but we're not into that right now. So I'm not going to go all the way into it. So anyways, it was just talking about how he made his way up. And then, you know, he was getting praised by the Americans for the work that he did with the, um, which one was it? The battle of, I don't know if it was New Orleans. Mm, yeah, I think it was. Um, that they started to put him on some type of a pedestal at that point. And he was like the, uh, the first famous, well-known um, military man or whatever. Okay. So, um, or directly from late, um, whatever, Chief Angel, um, Chief First Archeon or Archon. Um, and then also we're going to talk about that too, because then when we're talking about this, are we talking about the founding fathers in the first? Cause this was a lot of things that they were talking about in these documentaries, these documentaries, if you really looking and paying attention and listening, they'll tell you the truth right then and there, you know, um, it's funny. It's real funny. So, uh, angelic consists of angels. Okay. So anyways, and then this is the thing that they can go in and out of heaven because they're working with your, um, uh, president okay the one that god chose to put there to preside over okay so I, I had to do it i had to do it just in case somebody is new so don't get mad at me come on okay so i had to do it y'all i'm sorry because once you can use one of these things like this as your key Things will just show themselves to you. So, again, when the warriors, um, here, okay? So, that's what I mean by, um, them being in the heavens, okay? Um, and then there's one top dog that it communicates with the president. Uh, I don't know if it's the attorney general or the s whatever he is. I can't remember the name right now. But he's like the right-hand man of... The president and then all the other stuff falls I guess below him so um I don't know if it's the chief or staff I just can't remember y'all because like I said that's not what we're here for okay so I was there when the angels drove out the ancestors you know and then that's the thing um that them being in that system these, what did I, like I already told you, if this is the God hovering over, okay, so then um, your priest and your academics, um, these people came at, saying they're coming in peace, okay, just looking around, um, talking to the people, getting them to, some of the people to submit um, to uh, religion. Um, of course, it wasn't the Bible because they couldn't even read it yet. Even if it was the Bible, they, you know, it was something else that they had that these people could not interpret yet. So the first thing they had to get into is socially through um, your mental talking, speaking, indoctrinating. OK, and this they still have these things in order today through these people in this system. OK, so then you have your warriors again. They came next. They were the ones, once they gained a little bit of trust, they moved in. And then that's when you start to see the real deal, okay? Um, the kings had not been there yet. But again, the kings remind me, too, of the governors. And there was a lot of governing going on prior to a presidency even being uh, put into play, okay? So, and then they made it easier for these people to end up coming in. And then this is their offspring, that might be a mixture of your offspring, meaning the Aboriginal or the people of the land with these people. So they are torn between the two. But now they don't even know or realize that they have anything to do with this, some of these people. Um, 
So again, and these people will be the aboriginals or the so-called darker view people that were here prior to colonization. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. And this will be the enmity between those seeds. Okay. So let's go back. So again, the ancestors, I just want to look at this and see if there's any A series of line of ancestors. And again, it's so funny how ours, we can go back to um, maybe two generations or something. Um, we can go back to our great grandparents, but everything else is concealed. They know exactly. They have all of the um, paperwork. They just don't want you to know who you are. So again, um, but some other, some people can go further back than that. I'm just saying that most everyday people that have been looking so far, um, over the past couple of years, you know, can only get to a certain point, okay, um, without help, okay? So, um, a series of line of ancestors, descent from an ancestor. Early 14th century, are we in the fourth day of Genesis? Um, ancestry, ancestry, forefathers. Again, founding fathers, forefathers, okay? Um, ancestral, pertaining to ancestors, 1520. So, later on, they're using this term. Um, and then the heritage, okay, um, 1200, um, that which may be inherited, okay, um, inheritance, uh, ancestral estate, heirloom, um, inherit, um, these are the things that they have inherited, they have inherited the throne, um, and you are just out on the streets, okay, so, or under the ground, or on the ground, or dead, um, basically. Um, so meaning, condition, or state transmitted from ancestors. Okay, and then so some of these people, like I said, when it comes to the founding fathers especially, I do believe that these people um, had um, bloodlines that descent from people that were tied to this land. And they came through those bloodlines and then were able to hold their own and produce people that look like them. And this is considerate of them. I mean, this is consistent of them creating someone in their own image. And um, we've seen those people in their image um, in that house um, over the past couple of years until you have Obama. But then again, he would be one of them too, in a sense, okay? In a sense, because he is from Africa and there's questionable where, where, what? So, um, you know, really, because he went to travel with monks and I mean, he's been, there's some, so again, th I think this stuff is set up. I do think that there's something bigger. There's a bigger picture and this stuff is set up this way, um, due to some of these past things. Okay. Um, and, and lineage, this is the way he didn't just get there because he there is lineage. And the fact that I think that he's not Aboriginal, um, to the Americas. Okay. And this is that whole thing with the birth certificate and stuff. They're trying to make it about something else, but I think it's more about something, something else. Okay. So we're getting sidetracked, but again, I thought this, was, I just stopped to look at this about the Anasazi because it reminds me of the Jews or whatever the honest I can't remember what it is but it sounds just like this to me um but they're using it for natives there so anyhow and then um it says I was there when the waters consumed the mountains okay so then I told you guys in my eyes the waters represent um the immigrants the foreigners the aliens the people that came here um and then them consuming let's just see what consume um, consume, let's see, without the D, uh, consume late 14th century to destroy by separating into parts which cannot be reunited. So I think that this consuming, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, has something to do with the flooding or the irrigation or the seeding or the seeding or the tilling and the handling of the land and, and breaking it up into different uh, races and things of this nature um as by burning or eating okay so then again um this is going back to the wheat and the tares almost to me um because i, I don't know exactly what the burning um 
you know, and I don't want to go back for, you know, something like burning because we're not talking about that right here. But I think the burning has to do with something. Um, that is what we were going to do. Uh, okay, the burning has to do with doing something else and then the eating would be consuming or, um, you know, uh, taking the essence of or using or, you know, uh, taking the energy from in my eyes. So hence destroying the substance of. So uh, yeah, the sustenance or the substance of, or again, the vigor, things like this um, to annihilate. Okay, because and subdue would be right around there because we're talking about what most of the stuff is really um, biblical things. Okay, so from older French consumer. Okay, and then that's where you get. Okay, so then, um, yeah, consumers. Okay, and directly from the Latin consume to use, eat up, eat waste, um, from assimilated form. Okay, to take under, okay, to buy, to take, to take, to distribute, again, to break up. They did this to the land, the resources, and the people of the land, okay? So specifically to destroy by use, uh, wear out by applying to its natural or intended use. So again, the withering or the wearing of our ancestors to do, just like I think in that Andrew Jackson documentary that he got the land, but again, most of the slaves were doing all the work. But then again, we think maybe because, well, yes, I believe it's because of the caste system, of course. Um, and then of course, these people would know how to do the natural things to the earth. And this is why when they took it, um, it said that they took over them, uh, not the Mohawk, but uh, one of the other tribes of Indians. And then they moved in there and then they used the people um, or Negroes in order to uh, till the ground. But then again, you have to remember that the Negro is now turned, when they get overthrown, they're turned from Indian, some of these tribes, into Negroes. So now they've assimilated to the system or the firmament, you know what I'm saying? Um, and they can't eat or anything. So what? They stick around and work for the Lord or the master. Okay. Um, while they, so that they can feed their family and they know the soil. So it's like, yeah, I know, I know the soil so I can help you out for whatever. And then they would give them food and things like this, but never enough, never enough money or funds. It wasn't because they wanted to be mean is because they didn't want you to have a chance to go get your own fields and catch up to them. Now that is mean <laughs> and that's disgusting, but I'm just trying to show you guys that it's more about a system than just I don't like this person because they're black and I'm, you know, no, there was a system. These are the people, they're black, yes, but they are also the original people of this land. We cannot let them get any type of funds or businesses and it's still to this day now. That's why they bring in other people from other places because they're all foreign. Um, now they're here now. Okay, so again, I'm not speaking bad about anybody because most of these people don't even know what their fathers have done. So again, I'm speaking from the mother of this earth here in America's perspective, okay? So, <clears throat> from assimilated uh, form here, probably intensive prefix to take. Okay, we already did this. Okay, so destroy and use it for its intent. And then I think that's what they were saying that Andrew Jackson thought at some point that you know, it was wrong when they were doing it to the so-called white people, but it was okay for him to do it to the natives, like take their land and, and move them about. Um, but then um, they said that he was to say that uh, it's a white man's job to do these parts, okay, for a certain amount of time. And it's the, the, the darker race or the slave's job to work, okay? Um, and they thought that that's what it was for. But of course, for their system, that's the way it's supposed to be. But for you being a human and being somebody that may have known the truth or may have not, you know what I'm saying? And lived around these people your whole entire life, you should be ashamed, okay? So, or at least pay the people fairly, okay? But it's just like now, the plantations are just bigger. Um, it's taking them how long to get the, uh, minimum wage up from whatever $5 and something not that long ago. So again, it's still the same thing. It's still the same thing. Okay. So yeah, to, to devour, um, of beast or person, eat it up, 
Okay. And this is what I'm saying. So for food, um, eat, uh, ravenously, uh, consume as food, devour, swallow up. Um, you know, yeah. A person or in, in, a, in a na in animate <laughs> agents. Okay. Fire. Okay. Now here we go by the fire. Just like we were just saying above the burning, what was that consent considered? So by the fire, the pestilence and all these other things. Okay. Um, yeah. With the eyes, take in ravenously with the eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyways, um, that's about being consumed. And then let's just look at mountains really quick. Now it's a shame that we had to do this for this little thing. But, um, I, you know, I just really think that when people see it, it, everybody can see it at a different time. And when you do see it, it, it does something and it helps, um, for those who are doing this type of work. So, uh, natural elevation rising more or less abruptly. Again, these are the nations that came in and rose higher. And then if you go talking about the Appalachian mountains and all these other mountains, um, the literal so so-called mountains, then you'll see how those people have been on those mountains for a long time. They have their communities there. They, some of these people inbreed with each other. They call themselves a pure race. Like we said in that um, one video about white supremacy in the Bible and they didn't want to mix. Okay. Um, at that point in time. So again, you know, so, but again, those people will probably be who's left after they do whatever dealings they're going to do on the earth at this point in time, um, in this day and age as what they have planned for us. Okay. All, no matter what race, all of the have nots. Okay. So, uh, again, to a conspicuous height. And I think we're talking conspicuous in one of these things that I'm going to read to you guys next. Um, but yeah. So, Mountain Dew, Scotch, okay, Rocky Mountains. <clears throat> Mountain lion puma is eighteen four. I'd be thinking like Mount uh, Lion of Judah. I was thinking something. I have some stuff when I show you guys the Adams. I mean, not Adams, but the stupid. Uh, Why well, I can't remember his name off the tip of my tongue, and I just was saying it. Um, Andrew Jackson stuff. A mountaineer, a native of or dweller in the mountains so a mountain a mountaineer okay a mountain climber okay okay let's see caucus mountain ranging between black and caspian seas separating europe and the middle east latin caucus okay let's see literally a mountain ice Ice shining white with snow. Um, okay. So anyways, so I just thought that that was pretty deep because I was just looking, you know, um, around that. So I was there when the angels drove out the ancestors. I was there when the waters consumed the mountains. Okay. Um, and so, um, yeah, that was just the introduction. Um, and then next time I come back, we'll go into the actual, um, book or we'll go into the text. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope this was not too long. I hope you did get something from it, even though we only went through two pages. Um, uh, so again, if you, uh, like this, uh, content and you like the, um, uh, first part of this uh series um go ahead and give me a thumbs up so i can know that i should do more i know it didn't give you much but again oh and sorry before i leave that quote was by bernard daddy or daddy d-a-d-i-e okay um so i want to thank you guys for watching and i will definitely see you guys soon take care